Hello and welcome back to Atelier. Alright, so it's been a few days um, since my last episode. I've kind of skipped through quite a bit really. Um, I thought I'd just try and advance a little bit on the map. Um, so we're now on Midsummer, day four. I haven't actually done that much work. Obviously we've done quite a bit before. So yeah, a lot of it was just looking after the animals. I did a few jobs, uh, but nothing that I think um, we're going to miss too much on, on video. So... As you can tell as well, these are some pig food bags that I needed to get. So I've got some big bags of pig food and I've topped up on that. Um, got five in the end. Um, so I think TMR wise as well, I don't know if I'm running out, but we've still got, I think maybe a pallet in a tiny bit here. Yeah, just one left. So they have kind of got through that pretty quick. Uh, field wise, let's just have a quick look at the field so you can see what's going on. Everything's kind of progressing and growing well. I did end up scanning field 20 and I also put some fertilizer on it. It was only a small amount, it didn't need much. It just needed a tiny bit, so I did that. Um, I also fertilized field 48, so that's fully done now. And that's pretty much all the field work I've done in the, I think it's been about three days, three in-game days. So yeah, the only things pretty much to do now are wait for the fields to grow. And I, I have been looking at the uh, green corn, that's come up really nice. Um, if we go back over here, you can see the actual growth. So they, they, they're pretty much very close now. Dark green, the highest one. Same with the canola. So we're pretty much going to have these three fields here. Two canola fields, uh, green corn soon, and the potatoes. Uh, the, obviously the uh, soybeans are still going. Could even mow the grass, and we're definitely going to mow the clover because that is actually ready. But this one, it's not fully ready. Because it's grass, It's we need to wait for it to get a little bit darker. We could mow it now, but we will we'll get less. And I do want to do some hay in field 48. Whereas the clover, I'm going to do some silage. So, yeah, we're getting close to doing some harvesting and, um, yeah, going to be doing a lot of mowing. So I think in this episode, what I need to do is get cracking with the clover. And I think I'm just going to do a load of clover silage, let it ferment in the field, wrap it in bales, and this time actually sell it when it's fermented. Not like I did with the grass silage. So I think what we need first is get the mower. I'm probably going to get... I'm going to use the uh, Lambo. Makes sense. Should be alright for maintenance and anything like that, I don't really need to worry. So my money has gone down a little bit, I've been paying my loan repayments off. Um, I have spent about 5000 on pink food. But overall, did it spend, didn't spend anything on fertiliser, because I just used up all the big bags that I had lying around. And then when I came and emptied the uh, spreader that I had on lease, I emptied everything here. So that's the lime at the front, and then we had some more solid fur just behind it. So we have got quite a bit. I'm going to leave them there because I'm not going to do anything with sheep just yet. Anyway, I might do eventually, but it depends. So as you can tell, the green corn is really close. It's sprouted up pretty fast. And the same with the canola field down here. I mean, you can tell now, from how it did look, it's kind of drying up. Yeah, so that is definitely close. But we're focusing on the clover in this episode. Got to mow it, obviously got to windrow it as well. And then we need to also pretty much just bale it up. And it's a massive field, so I don't know if we'll get it all done in this episode. It really just depends, because if, if I did it all, it'd be... Well, it'd just be a massive time lapse, let's be honest. Just have a quick look at these fields. Some lot of soybeans, that is. Really is. And again, a big field of canola. I'm expecting some good income. We'll definitely pay off the loan anyway. There is a bigger version of this Lamborghini that at some point we might get. Because looking at actually this tractor, it's pretty much on the same level as my, the Sami. I mean, I think that's 180, 190. This is 200. Let me just check that. So we've got, yeah, so that's 
210 brake horsepower and that's 190 and then we got out another 180 so eventually we could increase especially if we're doing these this size fields these are some big fields but i do want to kind of keep with it an italian brand and if not italian then maybe a european so there's nothing actually in there i think i might need to activate it i have found some uh some good italian branded tractors some bigger ones i'll probably need to activate it and i don't think i've done that i mean i've got quite a few already in but not the one i'm looking for because i know there is a bigger version of the lambo so that's the two, that's 224 that might be the one that matches this i don't know the difference between them two so you can see that it is bigger And we can go up to 269, so that might be an option. It's basically the bigger version of what we've already got. Yeah, because this is the one we've got. 166, but I've obviously put it up to um, 210. So what's that? 138 for the Spark. And then this is 152. There really isn't that much difference between that. What's that? 19.5 thousand on top. Don't need fruit front load it. Don't really need a second. That we do need sat nav though. Put the tire sound up just because it sounds better. But if we go to second hand, that's 137 thousand. So if we sold ours, we'd get 87. That is an option. That really is an option. Do you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm going to actually go and get the bigger version of the Lambo right now. I think it just kind of makes sense. So let's go and sell this. Because we, we, we've pretty much got three medium tractors at the moment. And one small one for the narrow tyres, the Deutzfahr. So we may as well actually go swap this one in. have two medium tractors. The small one for the uh, fertilising. And then this bigger one can be for... A lot of uh, field work. Counter is a no-brainer. We're doing well for money. We've also got a lot of money coming in. I mean, from what we get from this clover silage, if I actually sell it at the right time, it'll probably cover the actual cost of getting this anyway. So, definitely a no-brainer. I mean, we've already done 140, 140 kilometers in this. I know it's got my name on, but we'll uh, whoever buys it after me, we'll just have to have my logo on the on their tractor. <laughs> so I've just repaired it just to see if I get any more. So we'll sell it for 106,000. That's not too bad. Right, so this is what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for this setup. And as you can tell, I've gone for a nice orange colour. It's 141,000. GPS is on it, which we definitely need. And it's 270 brake horsepower, which leaves us with 42,000. But I think we'll make up the difference definitely from just doing this. And I actually have to say that that looks pretty impressive. It's much bigger. And I do like the look of it. It's strange to have a black interior, but I thought I'd go with it just to see. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's all right. I mean, if I don't like it eventually, we can always swap it out, but I do. It's all right at the moment. It just looks a bit shiny on the steering wheel. Maybe it's the light. But it goes 30 mi 39 miles an hour, so. Got some good speed. It does sound pretty good as well. So let's go get hooked up to the mower and actually try it out. We should be alright for fuel. I know it's gone down because I bought it second hand. But it should be alright. Right, so there we go. Pretty much started. I'm trying to think of the best way to go around, but I think if I go this way, 
And when I get to that bit, this is a bit of a steep hill, I won't have to go up it, I can come down it. But so far, I am liking this tractor, I think it's much better. I do like the orange and uh, black kind of rims. And it definitely do looks like a Lamborghini now. So this is definitely going to take some time. This is going to be a big field um, with the mowers that we've got set up. It's going to take a little bit long because I haven't got one on the left hand side. It would be a lot easier if I did. So we're just going to have to do what we can. But so far so good. I mean, it's climbing up this hill pretty well. 30 miles an hour is pretty good. So I'm thinking about when I do the windrow and I might set up again the windrow on a course play and then I'll go around with the baler just after. And I'll probably start on the up and down rows with the uh, windrow on the course play first and then do the uh, headlands after and it just means that when I'm using the baler he won't be hitting the uh, bales on the outside when he's doing his turns. This is a big field. It's making me realise when I'm looking at the map as I'm mowing how much I'm actually doing compared to how much there actually is to do. I mean, it's not a bad yield on this field. I mean, the grass one was a lot worse. That always confuses me why it says that. But oh well, we'll miss that a little bit. How do I not have access to that? It's crazy. It's 50,000 as well, just for that. Right, so... 86, yeah, it's still not that amazing, is it? I mean, that little bit we've missed, it's fine. I mean, look how much clover there actually is in this field. That little bit's not going to make too much of a difference. So I'll probably do about... Yeah, I might do about three headlands. And then I'll start doing some up and down rows. I mean, it's going to take good amount of time anyway just to mow it so I think if I can shorten that down on the rows by just making more headlands I'll, I'll do it, it makes more sense so we've just started the second second uh, headland now it makes me realise now that um, it was such a good idea to get a baler with a combi wrapper on it because these are some big fields some serious clover is going to come off this I'll be intrigued to see my actual information after the yield information just to see where we're at so I was actually thinking as well whether to do clover hay or silage uh, and when to do hay basically but I was looking at the cows and also the horses because they're the ones that I've pretty much got to give hay to we don't have to worry about that with the pigs um, and Clover hay, I think I can only feed to the, it was the cows, whereas normal grass hay, I can actually feed to both, so it makes sense to do grass hay and just make a load of clover silage, because I can actually feed, I'm sure I can feed clover silage, so I can put it in the, obviously the TMR mix, but I can also feed it to the cows. They can also get some clover silage for the pigs if we needed to, if we weren't buying big bags of pig food, but we probably shouldn't need to do that. And then if you look at the hay type there, they can have just normal hay or alfalfa hay, but they can't have clover hay, so it just makes sense to just do normal hay so we can use it for the horses and for the cows. So 
So I don't know how many bales I'm actually going to get, obviously, or keep. Uh, I am thinking about maybe doing... I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but I'm thinking of doing... At least maybe 10, keeping 10 for myself, Clover Salage. Selling the rest of them. I mean, I think I might do some more grass silage as well in that big field because it is a massive field and I could I could do all hay and then just keep some hay and, and sell some or I could do partially some partially some of that field as hay and then the rest of it again is silage. I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'm trying to think. We've got some grass silage bales. Not loads. I think it was about six or something like that. So if we try and keep some more clover silage on top of it I think that should be good enough we could just literally do more hay in the grass field just hay and then sell what we don't need right so what I'll do is I'll crack on with this I won't put a time lapse in I'll just cut back in when I've done most of the mowing and then I'll probably put my time lapse in when I'm doing some baling and following obviously the uh, course play that I set up to do the window. so there we go I've uh, completely mowed up all the clover it didn't take too long actually and I did set a course play going um, from this side of the field onwards you can probably tell he's done a little bit um, it's weird because I've obviously set to do the uh, up and down rows first and then three headlands uh, but every now and again I keep seeing him do some strange turns and he keeps like jackknife in the uh, windrow so I don't know how he's going on I think he's actually jackknifed it again so we'll just let him struggle and then we'll see where he gets to. But I think I need to go and put some fuel into this. And then also get hooked up to the actual baler. I am I have to say though, this tractor is yeah, it's doing really well. I do like it. Definitely a good idea to get an upgrade. And I do like the uh, colour scheme, the orange and black. It's a nice change. So what I'll quickly do is I'll just drop off the mower, get hooked up to the baler, put a bit of fuel in, and then I'll cut back in when I'm in the field, ready to start doing some bales. Right, so I've just fueled her up, set up all the baler, cleaned it out, and I'm going to go for this fluorescent green on the rack because I think it'll look pretty cool. So, definitely gone for a bit of colour today. Bright orange tractor and some fluorescent green wrapping. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Right, so I don't really know where he is and what he's doing. It looks like he's up there, so we'll go from right to left because that's pretty much where he's... It looks like that's where he started now, I think. I think this must be his first one, so let's try and figure out. Because I think what's happening, when he's doing the rows, it's fine, but then when he goes to turn around, he's jackknifing, so... Yeah, it's not looking... Um, straightforward. I am doing 6,000 litre bales, just so you know. And um, 
I've set it to automatically drop as well because I think it'll be a lot easier. So hopefully this won't take too long. I am going to put majority of this on a time lapse. So hopefully now it should automatically drop itself after it's wrapped. I won't need to worry about doing that. I mean, sometimes I do forget. There we go. So that's worked perfectly. Problem is, I've just dropped that right in the path of when he's going to do the row, but hey ho, it should be fine. I should have to remember not to do that next time. Right, so what I'll do, because I think the video is running pretty late on now, um, I'll put this on a time lapse and hopefully we'll get quite a lot of bales. We'll have some serious money when it's all fermented. Right, so there we go. That was a big job. Took about three hours, I think, in game to uh, do that. Three hours real time. Um, it's now four o'clock in the game, and it's 86 bales. 86 bales at 6,000 liters. So if I do actually wait for these to ferment properly this time and sell them, I'm hoping that we get a good chunk of money. So I need to make sure. I need to make sure definitely that I actually check probably ones up this end because I did these last, especially on the headland. So yeah, what, an, what, what a massive job that was. And hopefully it'll pay off. 86 clover salage bales fermented in this field. 
obviously this is going to be an auto load job it's got to be using an auto load trailer because it's just yeah i'll be here for another four hours if i was loading them up and this track has done 23 kilometers already so it's definitely had its work cut out for it since i've had it and Saying that though, I am glad I did get it because coming up the actual hill when I had the bale on the back turned on, yeah, it definitely took some some power. But overall, definitely a productive episode. Which should make us a lot of money going forward. Right, so I'm going to leave the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And also, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on Farming Simulator. See ya.